magical friends. If you have a special dream story ideas or a magical adventure in your mind, let me know in the comments below, and I'll make it into a wonderful tale just for you. Don't forget, dear friends, to like and subscribe to our channel for more stories together. Princess Sophia Enchanted Cupcake Celebration Once upon a time, in the magical kingdom of Enchantia, Princess Sophia was eagerly preparing for the grandest event of the year, the Enchanted Cupcake Party. It was a celebration where all the princesses, princes, and friendly creatures from neighboring kingdoms would gather to decorate cupcakes, share stories, and spread joy throughout the realm. The preparations for the party began weeks in advance. Princess Sophia, with the help of her friends and family, transformed the royal castle into a magnificent display of enchantment. The halls were adorned with shimmering streamers, colorful banners, and twinkling fairy lights. The grand ballroom was turned into a bustling bakery, filled with tables adorned with bowls of frosting, trays of sprinkles, and baskets of fresh fruits. Sophia and her friends, Princess Amber and Prince James, worked tirelessly to ensure that every detail was perfect. They spent days crafting intricate cupcake toppers shaped like magical creatures, unicorns, dragons, and fairies. With each delicate stroke of their paintbrushes, the toppers came to life, ready to adorn the sweet treats. As the day of the party arrived, the kingdom buzzed with excitement. Princesses from far and wide arrived at the castle, each bringing their own special ingredient to add to the cupcakes. Princess Cinderella brought pumpkin spice, Princess Ariel brought sea salt caramel, and Princess Belle brought enchanted rose petals. Together, they all gathered in the grand ballroom, where tables were set up with plain cupcakes waiting to be decorated. Sophia, with a twinkle in her eye, welcomed her guests and explained the rules of the cupcake decorating contest. Each princess would have one hour to decorate as many cupcakes as they could, using the ingredients provided. The room erupted into a flurry of activity as the princesses donned their aprons and got to work. Princess Rapunzel expertly piped swirls of lavender frosting onto her cupcakes, while Princess Tiana meticulously arranged edible flowers in intricate patterns. Prince Naveen, always the charmer, entertained the crowd with his witty jokes as he decorated his cupcakes with gusto. Meanwhile, Sophia flitted from table to table, offering encouragement and assistance to her guests. She helped Princess Anna perfect her snowflake designs and showed Prince Eugene how to create delicate sugar butterflies. Together, they laughed and bonded over their shared love of baking. As the final minutes ticked away, the princesses put the finishing touches on their creations. The room was filled with the aroma of freshly baked cupcakes and the sound of laughter and chatter. Finally, the judging began, with Sophia and her friends carefully sampling each cupcake and awarding prizes for creativity, taste, and presentation. After the success of the enchanted cupcake party in the royal castle, Princess Sophia decided to host a sequel celebration in the Enchanted Garden. With the help of her friends and family, they transformed the garden into a whimsical wonderland, with colorful ribbons fluttering in the breeze and fairy lights twinkling in the trees. Instead of decorating tables, this time they decided to decorate a majestic tree with cupcakes of all shapes and sizes. Princess Amber and Prince James climbed up the tree, carefully hanging cupcakes from its branches, while Sophia and her other friends decorated the trunk with frosting and edible flowers. As they worked, a bluebird and a rabbit, enchanted creatures of the garden, joined in the festivities. They fluttered and hopped around, adding their own special touches to the cupcake tree. With a sprinkle of fairy dust and a touch of magic, the tree began to glow with a soft, ethereal light. As dusk fell, the sky lit up with bursts of color as fireworks filled the air. Sophia and her friends watched in awe as the fireworks painted the sky with brilliant hues of red, green, and gold. The enchanted garden seemed to come alive with the magic of the moment. As they sat together, basking in the glow of the fireworks, Sophia reflected on the day's events. She realized that the true magic of the enchanted cupcake party wasn't just in the decorations or the cupcakes themselves, but in the joy and friendship they shared with one another. Whether in the grand halls of the castle or the enchanted garden outside, the power of love and friendship was always the most magical ingredient of all. In the end, they had spent a magical day together, creating sweet memories that would last a lifetime. And as the sun set over the kingdom of Enchantia, Princess Sophia knew that she had succeeded in spreading joy and enchantment to all who had attended her enchanted cupcake party.
In the kingdom of Enchantia, the Enchanted Cupcake Party became a cherished tradition, eagerly awaited by all its inhabitants. Every year, on the same day, the kingdom would come alive with excitement and anticipation as preparations for the celebration began. Streets were adorned with colorful banners depicting cupcakes, and buildings were decorated with frosting and sprinkles, turning the entire kingdom into a whimsical wonderland of sweets. Princess Sophia, as the beloved host of the event, always wore a special gown for the occasion. This gown was adorned with intricate designs of cupcakes and frosting, shimmering with magical gems that sparkled in the sunlight. Her hair was styled in elegant curls, with delicate cupcake-shaped hairpins adorning her locks. With each step, she radiated grace and charm, embodying the spirit of the enchanted cupcake party. As the day of the celebration dawned, the kingdom buzzed with excitement. People from all corners of Enchantia gathered in the town square, where tables laden with cupcakes awaited them. Each person brought their own unique ingredients to contribute to the festivities. Strawberries from the enchanted forest, honey from the magical bees, and even starlight gathered from the night sky. The air was filled with laughter and joy as families and friends came together to decorate cupcakes and share stories. Children giggled as they dipped their fingers into bowls of frosting, while adults reminisced about past celebrations and shared their favorite cupcake recipes. Everywhere you looked, there were smiles and camaraderie as the people of Enchantia reveled in the magic of the day. As the sun set on another enchanted cupcake party, the kingdom was filled with a sense of contentment and unity. The enchantment of the celebration lingered in the air, reminding everyone of the power of love, friendship, and, of course, cupcakes. And as Princess Sophia bid farewell to her guests, she knew that the tradition would continue for generations to come, bringing joy and sweetness to the kingdom of Enchantia year after year. The moral of the story is that true magic comes from the bonds we share with others. Through kindness, teamwork, and friendship, we can create moments of joy and wonder that last a lifetime. That's it for today, dear friends. Goodbye. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on the video before you go.